Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Wednesday, July 17, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from 2 Timothy chapter 3, reading from verse 10 to 17, and it says, But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long suffering, charity, patience, persecution, afflictions which come unto me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra. What persecution I endure, but out of them all the Lord deliver me. Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished, unto all good works. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for His holy word and we have a lot to unpack here this morning. As we read in the scripture this morning that Paul was admonishing the brethren and he shared with them his testimony. They knew of the things that he did, the charity, his behavior, everything. And so he was sharing that with them. So he was trying also to give them encouragement. And at the end of his testimony, his words was that all of us who keep the word of God, all who live godly will suffer persecution. And why is that? Because remember that the enemy is at war with God. And for those of us who align ourselves with God, He is going to uh, treat us with great hostility. As the Bible tells us that He has come down having great wrath because what? His intention is to deceive and to destroy because He knows that His time is short. And so if it is a case where you have decided to walk with God, it don't mean that you're gonna have an obstruct walk. You will suffer blows from the hand of the enemy. Now, he doesn't stop there. He continues by saying that those who continue to allow themselves to be seducers, those who fall prey to the deception of the enemy, those who continue in sin, those who continue to persecute those who are living according to God's will, those who attack the very nature of God in His faithful people, they are only being deceived to do so and they themselves become deceivers. And so they will only get worse and worse if they do not repent. So sin can only get worse, it can't get better. And so we have to be mindful of that. Sin is very dangerous. But Paul admonishes us that we should continue in those things which we have been taught. He says that what? Thou hast learned and has been assured of. So the things that we have been promised in God's word, the things that we believe and understand to be true in God's word, we should hold on to them, right? Knowing of whom thou hast learned them. So in other words, keep in the front of our mind God who is the great teacher of these things. So these things, they do not come from man. Man may be used as a vessel, but these are the words of God. And that is why we must hold on dear to them. Don't let anybody deceive you. Don't let anybody, you know, trick you to believe that what you believe is not what you believe or it's not the truth. The truth is the word of God. And if you are following the word of God, then 
you are following the right way and he continues he says that from a child thou has known the holy scripture so some of us we have been taught the scriptures growing up and throughout our life as we continue to study the scripture it made us wiser it helped us to make better choices it helped us to keep out of trouble it helped us to do the right thing so studying the scripture you can't lose you cannot lose because it will only make you wiser but for those who have turned their back on the word of god they continue to make foolish mistakes because what either they don't know better or they refuse to accept what the word of god says and so they make decision on their own merits and so he make it clear to us that what all scripture it is given to us by god through inspiration and it is good for doctrine so it is good to teach doctrine so if you want to know doctrine if you want to know truth if you want to know the gospel then you need to accept the word of god because it is pure because it comes from god and so it is good for doctrinal purposes and it says that it is good for reproof for correction and instruction in righteousness so if you are unsure about how to 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 perform disciplinary action or if you want understanding and knowledge and wisdom how to maybe discipline your child discipline yourself discipline others whatever it is give guidance give instruction whatever it is that you want to do you can find the answer in the word of god and so don't listen to those who tell you all kind of stuff about you know the scripture was written by the white man and it was written to brainwash you come on intelligent people don't speak foolishness and for those who continue to believe those kind of thing it means therefore that they they are ever learning but never coming to the knowledge of the truth so they are they are just acquiring knowledge for knowledge sake because if you are wise and if you claim to be a person of, of wisdom then you will clearly see that the word of god it brings harm to no one and it only points you in the right direction but you see that is also a plot of the enemy to keep people from knowing the truth and from doing the things that are right and so they come up with all of these fables and all of these things so that people will be discouraged from knowing god and from having a relationship with him but studying the word of god we if you want to become a better person if you want to become perfect so to speak which the bible said that we should strive to be perfect then we cannot do it without studying the word of god and allowing the holy spirit to transform our hearts and our mind only god can make us perfect but we have to make an effort to receive that perfection and we have to study the word of god so that we can know what perfection looks like so the word of god is basically god having a conversation with us just like you would have a conversation with a friend and he's teaching us the things which we are to do the things that will keep us out of danger the things that will make us better people the things that will help us to to walk faithfully and according to the will that he has for us and so my encouragement to all of us this morning is that we want is that we will continue in those things that we have learned in the word of god and that we will not go off the beaten path we will not go astray but we will continue to trust god that he knows what is best for us because he is god and he has our best interests at heart so may we continue to remain faithful and steadfast and never give up because jesus will never give up on you amen